Hello everyone. Today we are discussing Tyrion. This is a short essay question carrying 5 marks. So let us see how to present this answer. So if this question is asked in the exam, you will have to present it under the following headings. You will first introduce what the Tyrion is. You will say where it is located. You will say what are the bones forming it. You will say what are the structures lying beneath and what is the clinical significance of a Tyrion. So first you will give an introduction. What is Tyrion? This is H-shaped bony neurological landmark. So here you can see there are some bones namely frontal bone, this is a parietal bone, this is the squamous part of the temporal bone, this is the greater wing of sphenoid. So where these bones unite you are having a H-shaped suture here. So this is the perion. So it is a H-shaped bony neurological landmark. Why neurological landmark? Because there are certain structures here which are very important. We will be seeing that in the later slides. So where is this located? As you can see this image, this is the lateral aspect of the skull or the lateral view of the skull. So it is located in the lateral aspect of the skull. What you are seeing here is a zygomatic arch. Take the midpoint of the zygomatic arch and 4 cm above the midpoint of the zygomatic arch, you will have the terion or you will have 3.5 cm behind the frontozygomatic suture. So, 3.5 cm behind the frontozygomatic suture or 4 cm above the midpoint of the zygomatic arch. So, that is the location of the terion. Now, how is it formed by? So, the sterion is formed at the junction of bones already discussed. So, you have the frontal bone here, you have the parietal bone here, you have the greater wing of sphenoid here and then you have the squamous part of temporal, temporal bone here. So, the meeting point of these bones, you have at the junction of meeting point of these bones, you will have the sterion. Let us see the structures lying beneath the Tyrion. So first thing you have the anterior division of middle meningeal artery. So you can see here this is the middle meningeal artery. So the anterior division of middle meningeal artery is beneath the Tyrion. You also have the stem of the lateral sulcus of the brain. So this is the stem of the lateral sulcus of the brain even that is beneath the Tyrion. What is the clinical significance of the Tyrion? So this serves as an important landmark for surgeons and because this is a meeting point of four bones namely frontal, parietal, squamous part of temporal and greater wing of sphenoid, four bones are joining in this place that is why this is the weakest part of the skull. If there is any traumatic blow of fracture to the terion, it may rupture the middle meningeal artery because beneath the terion you have the anterior branch or the anterior division of the middle meningeal artery. Thereby, it will cause extradural hematoma. And also, the terion is a site of trifination of extradural hematoma. What is the meaning of trifination? Trifination means making a burr hole in the region of the terion in order to drain out this extradural hematoma. So, these are the clinical significance of a terion. So, that was about the terion. Uh, thank you so much for listening to this video.